Jojolapa, Namaste and good afternoon to all the students. It's time for grade 9. It's me Devraj Maharjan, host of this radio education program. It's a presentation of Kirtipur municipality broadcasting for Anak Media through Nepal Bhasa Academy. I'm here in this Neva FM 106.6 MHz studio to present English based class. I hope students will take the benefits of this program. English is the principal international language of diplomacy, knowledge, business and tourism. Thus it has a dominant position in international media, science and modern technology. A high percentage of all publication in science and technology and commerce is published in English. That is, that is why learning English as a foreign language is assuming in increasing importance worldwide as well as in Nepal, both within and outside the school system. Though learning English, learners will develop the confidence to communicate effectively in speaking, listening, reading and writing English that will enable them to participate actively in a global society. Today, I have invited Mr. Liladhar Adhikari of Kirtipur Secondary School as an English teacher of grade 9. Sir, welcome to our radio program. Thank you, Mr. Marzan. So as an English teacher, uh, would you like to explain uh, what you have experienced uh, in grade 9? Okay, Namaskar, Dazalapa, good afternoon, all of my students. I am Liladar Adhikari. My school is Kirtipur Secondary School. It is located in Kirtipur Municipality, Ward number 9, Bairigaon. And I am here with you as a grade 9 English teacher. I will have been teaching grade 9 English for half an hour every Monday at 12.30 p.m. Dear students, how are you all? Yes, I am fine too. You are welcome to this English class. As Debra sir started, many things you have learned. I hope you all are aware enough to keep yourself and your family members safe from coronavirus. Have you been using different preventive measures and taking precautions? Okay, students, in today's class, I'll be talking about the overall English course, the curriculum that sets the evaluation system, overall contents you have to study in this class. Dear students, you have passed the basic level examination. You have not only passed grade 8, but also a level and you have entered the secondary level education. Haven't you? This is the upper step that includes class 9 to class 12. For the first time, you have made a choice in subjects. That is optional 1 and 2. You can choose the subjects as per your interest, needs and the condition of a school. Actually, whether or not the subject teacher available in your school. If you haven't chosen the optional subjects yet, you have to consult your teachers, parents and seniors. If there is the good connection of optional subjects in grade 9 and 10 to grade 11 and 12, it will be easier to go ahead in your further education. Students, are you following me? There are some important points. So, if you sit by the radio with pen and paper, it will be easy for you to write down some important points. 
the contained subject matter you have to learn in grade 9 English. Anything else, Mr. Morrison? Yes, sir. So, uh, you just explained the contents of grade 9. Uh, would you like to uh, explain some more about curriculum, sir? Okay. Sure. Now, let's talk of English the subject in the curriculum. Dear students, you have been learning this subject, English, since the very beginning of your school life. As in lower classes, in grade 9, it's a compulsory subject, which carries 100 full marks, 4 credit hours out of 800 in total full marks in this class. In Nepal, we learn English as a foreign language, you know. Dear all of my students, learning English means learning four language skills in a balanced way. The main four language skills are listening, speaking, reading, and writing. Nowadays, one more skill is also talked of, that is, thinking skill. It's not a separate skill in itself. Rather, it goes with all other four skills. There is certain marks allocated for a particular skill and examination will be managed accordingly. Dear students, 25 marks is allocated for listening and speaking skills. As you have already faced practical examinations in your lower grades, especially in grade 8. As usual, 75% marks is allocated for reading and writing tests. Students, if you ask about the examination system, it is not different from your class 8, that is basic level examination. You call it BLE. Out of 25 marks, 10 marks is distributed for listening test in which you have to listen to a text and answer the questions that follow. Speaking skill which carries 15 marks will test your pronunciation and fluency along with the content. You know the meaning of pronunciation. It is how correctly you can say an English word or a sentence. Fluency refers to the natural speed of a speech. In the examination, reading skill carries 40 marks. You will read different kinds of texts such as poems, paragraphs, news stories, menus, you know, menus in restaurant, notices, advertisements, diary entries, emails, timetables, and so on. There will be two texts from your English grade 9 textbooks. They carry 15 marks in total and other two unseen texts. You call them passages. They carry more, that is 25 marks. You have to read stories, essays, letters, newspaper articles, book, review, movie review. I guess you have learned book and movie reviews in grade 8 too. And you have to answer the given questions. From the very beginning now, the students make the habit of reading and practicing such text. Now we are in difficult situation. Most of these texts are given in your grade 9 English textbook. Therefore, you have to follow your textbook. You have already got the textbooks, haven't you? Students, 
Now let's go to other two skills. Writing carries 35 marks. Out of which guided writing carries 10 marks. Free writing carries 14 marks. And finally grammar carries 11 marks. Each of these three categories of question types includes two questions each. My dear students, what do you mean by the word guided? You are right. You are given guidelines and outlines. You have to follow these words or points to produce a particular text. In your lower grades, you have already faced some of such questions. Each guided writing question carries 5 marks. The first one will be given among the following areas. If you like, you can write them down because they are the contents you have to study in English. The first one is directions, writing directions. Second one, you have to learn to write instructions. Instructions means giving the procedure to do something. The third one, obligations and prohibitions. Generally, we call them do's and don'ts. The next is producing posters. In this class, you have to learn how to produce a poster. You have seen the poster on the wall of a school in other places. The next one for writing is electronic text messages. You know SMS, short messages you send through your mobile phone. Similar types of electronic text messages should be written correctly. The next one is writing postcards. You know postcards. And the another one you have to learn is you have to produce advertisements. Dear students, you know advertisements. You have to learn to write them. And the next messages of condolences. In grade 8 to you have done such type of exercises. And the next one is messages of congratulations. At sad moments, you write messages of condolences. In the happy moments, you write congratulations messages. And you have to learn to produce menus. Have you seen menus in the restaurants? You have to produce such menus. You have to learn to write them. And recipes. You know recipes. How to cook food. You have to write 75 to 100 words to produce any of the above mentioned text. Dear students, some of the topics that I mentioned previously are familiar to you to develop the skills to write on new topics you have to go to your textbook ask your teacher using phone messenger and different online and offline means Mr. Marzen yes sir is there anything else to yes. say, there are students uh, recently. Our Lila sir uh, explained about content elaboration. Uh, let me know to our students uh, for all the contents uh, how you uh, deliver uh, different methods and techniques uh, in the classroom situation, sir. 
Okay, thank you, Mr. Morrison. There are so many techniques in the classroom, but nowadays the definition of classroom has been a bit, we should redefine them. Online, so as radio classes, TV, they have dominated the normal classroom which we were doing. Okay, Mr. Moharjan, I'll come back to your question. Yeah. Uh, let me continue the overall contents for our students. Mm -hmm. Dear all, this is not normal time. Therefore, it may take a long time for you and us all to be physically or really face to face in our schools and classroom. That's why I suggest you to develop your own self-learning ways, strategies, with the help of information and communication technology, such as phone, messengers, Viber, radio, TV, and so on. Remember that staying safe is very important in this difficult situation. Students, next I am going to tell you about the second types of guided writing, topics. In your examinations, you are asked to write any one of the following under the second type of guided writing. The first one is, you may write them down on your paper, interpreting charts. Interpreting means describing, simply. Interpreting charts, graphs, tables, lists, and pictures. In the examination, you are given charts, graphs, tables, lists, and pictures, and you have to describe them. You have to interpret them in paragraphs, sentences. The next one is writing short stories with the help of given skeleton guidelines. This is not a new topic for you. It's familiar activity to you because you have been learning such exercises from your lower grades, even from class four or five. They are called skeleton stories. You are given the guidelines, outlines, some words of the stories skeleton and you have to develop a short story not long it carries just five marks students the third one is writing invitation letters the next one writing thanksgiving letters similarly writing letters of regret you have to know regret means feeling sorry for your mistake. They are short letters, not long. Next one, you have to learn to write news stories. They are newspaper report. Notice that many students get confused with news stories and short stories. They are two different concepts. Students, the last one is writing paragraphs. This is quite familiar topic to you. And here too, the word limit will be 75 words to 100 words. My dear students, let me tell you about free writing. As its name suggests, here you have freedom for writing. That is not much controlled. The first free writing question carries 6 marks. And the word limit of your writing is 100 to 120 words for a question. That is to say, if you write a short story, there should be 100 to 120 words. The areas to ask questions are, the first one, writing a dialogue. You are given the situation for this. You know dialogue, conversation between two. Second one, writing paragraphs on personal experiences. For example, my first day in the new school. It can be the topic to write a paragraph. The next one, writing short stories. It is different from the previous one. In this writing, you are given only the beginning or ending or title or the 
moral only one point is given and you will have the full freedom to write the story in your own next one writing views and attitudes for example write your own views and attitudes about lockdown okay you will express your views and attitudes and current issues of importance now i am going to talk of the second type of free writing questions the marks allocated for it is 8 and you are expected to write 150 words to 200 words it is a bit longer on a particular topic you have to study the following areas for obtaining 8 marks you will be asked one of the questions out of these areas you may write them down as well the first one is writing letters and emails you know personal letters or informal letters official or formal letters i guess you are generally familiar with such letter types the more ideas we will learn in grade 9 english second one writing different types of essays you have learned to write essays too now we learn to write different types for example descriptive essays narrative essays cause and effect essays next one is writing a newspaper article on a given topic for example write a newspaper article to be published in the national daily on the corona crisis next writing a movie review and a book review do you watch movies so make the habit of writing about it next writing brochures and leaflets on places or events of historical religious social and tourism importance students now let me take you to grammar which carries 11 marks generally the grammar topics you have to learn for grammar questions are one articles you know a uh, and the you may write them down two prepositions three tag questions four concord it is also known as agreement subject verb agreement you know some of the grammar books give the topic like that way five transformation changing into affirmative negative yes no questions and wh question six tense seven reported speech eight voice nine connectives also called joining words 10 conditionals 11 causative verbs these are the topics students next week on words we will go to the course so uh, this is the end of our live hour thank you so much mr mohanjan for facilitating me and miss sarana mohanjan for your technical support and dear students thank you for tuning in next week onwards i'll introduce your course have a good day stay safe stay healthy uh, thank you lila sir there is students as i have got the signal of time stopping i should stop the program for today till next program i and your teacher would like to take leave from this program we'd like to thank our technical supporters for their cooperation you are listening new ifm 106.6 megahertz you can hear this program by loading the app amru patra similarly you can log in www.newifm.com.np to listen this program throughout the world stay safe bye bye bye